Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I'm going to take you into the editor and show you how to get started. So when you open the editor, and that's going to be right from this screen that we were just at, this is the old version. You're going to click this button, and it starts you off at float. We're going to go and edit a full screen, and I have one that I started just a little bit ago in order to demonstrate. But we're going to go ahead and delete these so we can start fresh. This is what the full screen is built on, a giant frame, which basically means trackpad. So we're going to press the Create button, and we're going to move this down. Now this screen is optimized for touch. So I'm going to pinch to zoom, and I'm going to bring it away from this edge right here in order to make it easier, because there is a frame, an invisible frame around this that blocks a little bit of the touch process. So we're going to move it just about here and over is very easy to use. So we're going to make this button a little bit bigger, and then we're going to clone it and put another one down here. Let's clone it one more time, and let's make this one a little smaller. Okay, we're going to choose the shift button, and let's do a blank button with Control and Alt together. And let's make this one the Space button. All right, now this one, it's saying blank doesn't help me that much, so let's click the Change button name. And let's type in Control and Alt. All right, then we're going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to show you how to get this. We'll do Save As. I named this one test2. We're going to choose save. Yes, we're going to replace it. Let's minimize this. And then we're going to go over here, choose setting. Click on the gear icon. Go to layout details. There's layout options in all of the different modes, but we're going to do this here all together. So we're going to click on advanced settings. Use user ini file. Click browse. And we're going to find that test2. Click open and apply. All right, now, if Tablet Pro is not on, then you won't see this. But if you turn it on, then you should see these buttons right here. And if you tap on them, they should light up to indicate that they're working. Some of the mouse buttons, the individual mouse buttons, do not light up at this time. And we should be adjusting that at some point. Now, this right here, if you have any issues and you change this, this is a different layout. And this is a different layout. So you want to make sure that you have this set to all pad. Right, we're going to click Apply and OK. And that is most of what you need to know for creating a standard layout with gestures. In the next video, we are going to go into the artist pad and talk about how to. All right, this is the wrong layout. So that's what we're going to do is switch this back to the correct one. There we go. We're going to talk about how to set up an artist pad for work in Photoshop or ZBrush or a variety of other creative tools. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.